Okay. Okay. So we know each other for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Pretend you guys like each other for a second. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chef like each other, but they don't get that close. You know? <laughs> yeah, especially when they're French, because yeah. the rumors are going, right? Yeah. <laughs> And so tonight we say, hip hip, chin chin, hip hip, chin chin, hip hip. Chin, no, last night was excellent. First of all, we got to see each other before the yeah, event started, that right? Was good. Best so that was a good thing. We had a day. good yeah. glass of champagne, and then we had another hard liquor behind that. <laughs> <laughs> really? I heard you did. I forgot. <laughs> yes, they the work it out that I DJ a little bit, so that that was really cool. So I brought my gear down and. And I must say, yeah, the place was going. That was the yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I, I love it. I think it's part of a, it's what we do in the restaurant, what we do in the kitchen. It's about the same thing, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. entertainment, and then and you're reaching out and and you feed off the crowd. And I was down on DJing, and and then it's true for like the second, the third, the third song, nobody was really moving. Right? So, I hope I'm not gonna out here for an hour like that. Right? They, they were testing you. <laughs> it's gonna be like a long it's like hour. The first bite. Yeah, and then yeah. you just need one person yeah. to jump on, on on the dance floor, right? Okay. And then you, I usually feed off of a couple of people. I just keep these two in mind, and when I put, I put, let's say the, the next track in, and that person is really moving and suddenly moves a little bit less. I know that's not a good one. Because even if I think it's a good one, very often I think as chefs, we're cooking something and we're thinking yeah. it's probably the best dish, and you send it out and people are okay, then it goes, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave it on the menu, I think. If I don't get that response, that means it's not that interpreted away, right? Those dancers are like your tasting spoon. That's right, You're yeah. You're sampling it. Yeah, totally, yeah, yeah. Those you, you see it in people's face. It's right yeah. there, it's, you know, yeah. the uh, body expression is yeah. there. I think uh, even if they, even if people, if you ask them and you have a couple of, usually we're testing those recipes, right? Or those new dishes on customers we know well or, or friends. And, and if they try to be nice, you still, you can tell on the eyes, that was not a hit, right? It was good, but it was not a hit. And then you get it going a little bit, you tested it out and... I think it's also because we are very sensitive and we can feel sometimes, you know, yeah. the vibe is there or not. You know? Yeah, we're sensitive people. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Yes, well, I am. Well, we're not that old. You know, we're still yeah, long maybe now. we shouldn't tell when no, it was, no. right? But it's a long time. <laughs> I think it's in the uh, early or mid '80s. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right there in Newport Beach. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it was. I still remember. One good reason why I remember, of course, is for the dinner we had. The yeah. beautiful restaurant it was. And Antoine. And Antoine. And I remember even the sections. We talked about it the other day. Yeah. How well designed that restaurant was, uh, because it had three sections. So when when you're filling up a restaurant, it's a good feel. But the main the main thing for me that Night was also I was lucky enough to have my parents with me they came to the United States for the first time and then in those days I owned I had a Cadillac <laughs> my, my wife used to say I'm not gonna go in that car that's a car for pimps right <laughs> but, but I love that it was a big old oh, the, the long stretch to, and we drove down we drove from, from San Francisco with a Cadillac yeah along drove, the coast yeah along the coast Cruising. yeah and we came to see you and yeah, for my yeah. parents that was a souvenir that they never forgotten right yeah. because we were well received and mm -hmm. And then, and then, and in those days, I still remember uh, where the Meridian was. Right, yes. there was basically nothing around. No, the airport was the, an old tiny the, airport. You had to walk to yeah, the airplane. Yeah, that's right. The or, airport, you yeah. literally walk to the airplane. But yeah. so that's how. Now we're talking like two dinosaurs here, right? <laughs> no, but we're still on. But we're still here. We're yeah. still doing and still kicking. So <laughs> I mean, I'm still doing. Hey, what are you guys for us? Uh, Braise the wagyu beef cheeks. Yeah. yeah, I think we have to go cook. We need to do a whole cooking demo. Oh, they left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. I think we have to. We okay. have a demo, but I think very quickly. I must say, coming to Orange County, I think what's really what I my feeling is what's happening here is a bit what happened in Vegas, right? Las Vegas, many many years ago. I mean, not that long ago, there was a desert, right? There was a, especially Vegas, right? And then uh, when today, when you go back to Vegas, it became a real restaurant city. I mean, it was an explosion of chefs, talent, uh, everything, right? And Orange County, not to compare Vegas. There were always restaurants here. Obviously, we can.
came down here driving to your restaurant. But I think uh, it's like many areas where young chefs are pushing behind, they, they're getting established, they own a restaurant, and it becomes like a major, major area now when it comes to fine dining, for fun dining, right? And I think uh, Yvon Guts is a, is also one of the chefs that we know for very long. Jean-Pierre Dubré at Pelican Hill that we were friends for like for 15 years, they came down here. So like I said, we can mention so many chefs, mm -hmm. but I think it's it's amazing area now to visit as as a guest and as a chef, right? And everything grows, you know, we have local farmers, we have local uh, produce, even local wines. And I think what you're actually producing goes to Vegas. That could be. Yeah. It's actually true. Yeah. It's actually true because people say, very often say, do you grow any uh, heirloom tomatoes in Las Vegas? Is it? No, we don't. But, mm -hmm. but you know, we're so close yeah. to California that, yeah, things comes over there overnight and we have it as fresh. But I'll get you some from my farm uh, next I year. I would love it. Yes. Love it. Let's All do right. it. All okay. right. There will be the French connection. That's here we go. Here we go. <laughs>